your question is solve they have given you x by x minus 1 greater than equal to 3 now you can see this is in your rational inequality p by q form so first what we have to do just bring this 3 to your left side you will get x by x minus 1 minus 3 greater than equal to 0 now take the answer here you will get x minus 1 and here x minus 3 into x minus 1 that is greater than equal to 0 solve this you will get x minus 3x plus 3 by x minus 1 greater than equal to 0 solve x minus 3x is minus 2x plus 3 by x minus 1 greater than equal to 0 now what we have to do we have to solve numerator and denominator separately by taking that is equal to 0 to get the value of x so here it will come what minus 2x plus 3 that is equal to 0 that means minus 2x is equal to minus 3 minus and minus gone x is equal to 3 by 2 and for denominator it is x minus 1 that is equal to 0 and here it will come x is equal to 1 now the two values of x is 3 by 2 and 1 now we will represent this in your number line so this is your number line so here it will come there are two values one will come at the left side and this is 3 by 2 means 1.5 that means it will come at the right side here it will come at the infinity here it is come minus infinity now what we have to do we have to take the points you can see there are one two three three sectors or you can say three segments so we will take one by one in e sector one point so here we have taken what see this we will take zero as now substitute this value here what we will get so you can see if you substitute zero so you will get zero by zero minus one that is greater than equal to three so you can see that zero minus one that is zero 0 greater than equal to 3 it's a false so we will write here false now here it is 1 here it is 1 point, uh, 1 point 5 so that means we will take here some point that is uh, can we take 1.25 1.25 so now substitute 1.25 in this value what we will get we will get what 1.25 by 1.25 minus 1 it should be greater than equal to 3 that is equal to we can say is 1.25 by 0.25 now point and point gone that means what you will get see this uh, 5 times so now we can say 5 is greater than equal to 3 yes it's true so here it will come as true now take from here so 3 by 2 is 1.5 we will take 2 so now substitute this value again here what you will get see that you will get 2 by 2 minus 1 that is greater than equal to 3 now you will get 2 by 2 minus 1 is 1 
is greater than equal to three? No, we can say it's not false. So here we will write false. Now this is true. True is what is the range for that? You can write it as that is one and three by two. This is the correct true position. Now what we have to do here we have to take equal to sign on your numerator only, no denominator. So we can see 3 by 2 is where 3 by 2 is your numerator value that means here equal to sign we have to carry that. So now we can write here this way. If you move towards this way, it should be greater than 1. So we can say x should be greater than 1. And here it is less than 3 by 2. So x is less than equal to 3 by 2. Now can we make the range for that? We will try. So here what we will get? x is here less than less than they have given you x is greater than 1. 1 will come here and here it will come 3 by 2. Therefore, this is your range now.